In the world of education, they're called teachable moments, times when an event happens and there's an opportunity to convey something profound. What better example than a national election? Leading up to the 2008 presidential contest, high schools and middle schools throughout the Midwest took advantage of special software developed by Northwestern's Department of Information Technology. The goal was more than just teaching about how our political system works. It was about encouraging young people to become involved. We are heading to the LRC to vote. I know you knew this was coming, but we are going to vote in a mock presidential election. Teacher Dan Opus is getting his seventh graders ready. This is one area of life, voting, that you, you go out and you research and you make an opinion mm -hmm. for yourself, okay? And you, you don't just listen to what other people tell you. you don't, you're not just swayed by your friends or by your family. The date is November 3rd, the day before Election Day. But here at the Lincoln Middle School in Mount Prospect, Illinois, just north of Chicago, Election Day has already arrived. The voters file out the door, walk down the hallway, and line up in the Learning Center for final instructions. Go to New Voter, guys. Click on your school, click on your grade level, and then choose your candidate. But in this mock presidential election for Senators Barack Obama and John McCain, what's ultimately important to educators is not so much who the students pick, but why they choose one candidate over another and how they came to that decision. A lot of students start off, they're kind of voting on personalities, uh, who they hear about, um, who kind of looks cool to them. Uh, and we want them to think beyond that. Roxana Haddad is the designer for what's called iVote, a teaching tool from Northwestern's Department of Information Technology. So we wanted to create a space where students really had to express their opinions and express themselves in a way that they, that they had to think through their ideas and be able to interact with other students um, based on what they're thinking about. Think of iVote as a multimedia template that Northwestern programmers create for high schools and middle schools. For the election, students create their own page or poster, and anyone in their school or network can view it. On the poster, students use text, graphics, and audio to define an issue, explain their candidate's position, and why they support it. Megan Doyle picked John McCain and the economy. McCain will also do, repeal the 54 cent per gallon tax on sugar-based ethanol, which will cause gas prices to go down. Well, my dad is an insurance man, so I, the small business is pretty important because he's trying to start his own business. And um, if like he starts to make $250,000 or more, Obama would start taxing him more than usual, and that issue is kind of important to me because he's my dad. That's it. Thank you, Megan. Thank you for your hand. Callie Leone chose Obama and the environment. He supports efforts to refund super fund fees, which means that polluters should be responsible for paying for toxic sites as opposed to taxpayers. I would definitely say that this project reinforced my support for Barack Obama because I probably was biased by my family to some degree. Now I would say that I have more reasons to support why I agree. The goal is to get students to think critically and independently, to become engaged in the political process. Having them start off with a couple issues and finding out what is the gut of each issue, what is important about taxes, what is important about the economy, what is important about the environment, and then they try to find something that actually relates to them. Before students make their final I vote decision, they take part in polls and research the issues they care about. The process is thought-provoking and creative. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Ralph Tenuta inserted music on his page to underscore his support for Obama's position on global warming. This is Senator Barack Obama, and today's Thursday, April 12th, 2007. Ryan Alessi inserted a clip from Obama to talk about the war in Iraq. They were really considering the images that they were going to put into their posters. It, it wasn't something where it was just, you know, cutting something out of a magazine. They really deliberated over the images that they were putting together and what message they wanted them to convey. Some students discovered it's not easy making up your own mind, at least when it comes to politics. 
like before, I just wanted to vote for Obama because he's Obama. <laughs> and now I actually know stuff, and I agree with like both people a little, but I'm still with Obama. Whoever they are for, the students get to go to the polls and cast an electronic ballot. Just like a real election, they wait in line and go to a polling station. Barack Hussein Obama. Barack Hussein. The iVote system compiles data and even breaks it down statistically by grade and age group. For the record, Obama's national victory was paralleled at Lincoln Middle School. He beat John McCain. But separate from the numerical outcome, educators here say much of what was learned was due to support from Northwestern. They've created the collection of information that we can then hand off to the teachers and allow them to use their expertise to work with the students. And so that marriage of tools and, and uh, ingenuity in the classroom are what go together to make it a really exciting and, and uh, innovative kind of project. Roxana Haddad hopes the iVote project will have a lasting effect, leading these students to political advocacy and social awareness. <laughs> so what you care about should lead you to what you're voting for in the polls. And studies have shown that the earlier you vote, um, the more likely you're going to vote regularly. So we're trying to get students to be interested in the democratic process as early as possible. Listen to what the students have to say. And there's reason to believe I vote has been eye opening, pushing kids to think in ways they hadn't before. A lot about politics. Just doing this project really kind of opens your eyes to stuff that you wouldn't normally look into. But doing this project, it kind of forced us to in a good way. So now we know more about each candidate, and now we kind of know about who's going to run our country. And by digging into a mock election, these young voters have awakened to the reality that in just a few years, they'll be taking part in a real one. Because then, at least you know what you're talking about. Now that we're learning, we're going to be older and we're going to know more. If we know more about politics, then we'll be better voters and we'll elect a better president. Then we'll know more about the issues and we'll have a better United States.